What's up, everybody? This is Austin Miller coming with you to another dinosaur review video. I was just at a place called Shady Mabel Smorgasbord. It is a place that is a all-you-can-eat buffet, a very fancy place here in Pennsylvania. Um, I was there with a friend, and I like to go to the gift shop because it's huge. It's like a mall. And they actually sell Papo figures then. I had it on the back of my mind. But what if they had any of the 2019 ones there? Because I didn't actually get any of those. Well, to my surprise, they actually had one there. I was looking at all of them. They didn't really have much of choices. And I was looking at the Allosaurus ones. And then, boom, right there it is. I see an Allosaurus with a different paint scheme. I'm like, oh my god, that's it. That's the one I was thinking of, the one that I was hoping I would find and see. So here we are. We have the brand new 2019 Allosaurus. And I will do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. Here it is. I am so happy I got this. I mean, it just looks beautiful. I mean, yeah, it's not bright colored, but I actually kind of like the darker kind of variant of it. It is like an American looking got uh, Allosaurus. It is very, very, very beautiful. And you can see now it's got like, I mean, its mouth is well, very um, detailed. You can see how the, it's got this like stri white stripe going along its back and its neck. It's got these dots. It's got the red. It's got the blue. It, it's got the orange eyes. Man. And it's once down here, you got like a crocodilian like kind of tail. Oh my god, man. This thing is beautiful. And it's happy Father's Day to all those fathers out there. I actually got a discount on this. Uh, twenty percent discount on this for Father's Day, and I consider it as being a present, kind of for me being a father for my little baby girl. And uh, I saw her yesterday. I really miss her. Um, but I kind of consider this as being a very wonderful gift, as being my first first Father's Day as a daddy to my little baby girl. And yes, she is going to be adopted and everything, but I see her all the time. And I'm hoping to see her again next week. At least I'm supposed to. Man, this thing is just so freaking beautiful. Like, oh my gosh. And, like, this is not bad. Like, some of the Papo creatures can look really crappy when you get them. Some of them, like, you might get the same one and it'll be really good looking. And then you get a very crappy version. Now, I got a ordered a lot of the old Allosaurus figures and I ended up ever getting one that was actually really good and it happened to be the first ever Papo figure I had gotten way back in like 2011 because I didn't ever even shop online back at the time and I was so happy to even find these because it's my dream come true and I still have it since that day. This is the old Allosaurus model and if you look at this Look at how detailed that is. This was one of the early on ones, man. This this thing. Man, I love these figures. This is my heart and soul right here, man. One day, I, if I, whenever I pass away, I will be buried with this. As you can see, I leave its mouth open most of the, closed most of the time because it's kind of really hard to open. It's like still brand new in shape. But I really wanted to do this video for you guys so you can see the difference and the best versions of the Papo Allosaurus figures. My golly. This one has a little bit of a brighter mouth. But man, these models, man. I love the Allosaurus. My favorite dinosaur of all time. There's nothing like these figurines right here. And I will take my camera off my camera recorder to show you guys the rest of my Papo collection. Um, yeah. But I wanted to do this for you guys because I'm pretty sure you guys love it. Man, these are so well together. Now, I will get spring over my Allosaurus to my collection over here. I'm probably not going to put the new one with the other ones though because... I don't really like getting two of the same model. 
but I just figured I would have to do it because of it being. I just really wanted it because of it being the Allosaurus, you know. So here is my Papo collection. I got like really good looking detailed dinosaurs of each and every single one of them, as you could probably tell. I mean, at least when it comes to the carnivores, I got really, really high detailed carnivore ones. And I got most of these guys, like the Sarasaurus and stuff. I had pre-ordered them, and they did come out, like, last year. My, f like, Velociraptor, man, my feathered Velociraptor, kind of really hard to see. I don't really like touching them too much and moving them, but it is very highly detailed. And I actually just got the Kretzel today, too. They have one Kretzel left. But I figured I wouldn't do a review on that, because most of you guys already probably own one. Yeah, I mean, I got a high detailed Spino, one of the early Spinos, you know, I probably showed you that already. Um, the Teradon, and if you didn't, and if you didn't see my other video, I got a Namu Endoraptor, and back here you end up seeing, I, uh, Namu Berserker Rex. It matches to scale with the Papo figures perfectly. It's bigger than the T-Rex, still smaller than the Spino. Um, and that's the newer, like, Acrocanthosaurus. I got that one because I liked the, that paint scheme a heck of a lot more than the first one. Especially since I had the T-Rex version of that same paint scheme anyway. So yeah, I did have the old model. I had pre-ordered that one, but I got this model because I just thought it was a lot better. So I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. And, uh, yeah. So I hope you guys have a great day. And... I hope you enjoy your dinosaur collections just like I have mine, and I hope you guys are building yours up too. I mean, he has a lot of money, but it's definitely worth it. Alright, have a good day.